the iPhone 11 is it still worth it in 2023 and is the camera still good in this video I'll give you five reasons why the iPhone 11 is still worth it for the last four years I've been using the Canon 200D to capture photos as well as videos and despite its age it is still a fantastic lightweight travel camera however since September of 2022 I've been using the iPhone 11 more and more to capture videos why is that and what makes this phone so good the first main reason why I bought the iPhone is that it is fully waterproof. Most Android phones are either weather resistant or splash proof. So they can handle sprays of water but if you actually drop them in water they'll stop working. I know this very well because I've been an Android user for more than 15 years and in that time I've lost 3 cell phones to water damage. One fell into the pond near my ancestral home. The phone was underwater for barely 3 seconds but it still stopped working. These two each fell into a bucket of water. This one is beyond saving. But this phone, I dried it for one full month so now as a phone it functions properly but the camera has focusing issues and the brightness is very low. In fact the brightness is stuck in that low level. You can barely see anything during daytime. This is why the iPhone's IP68 waterproofing is worth it because you'll have a peace of mind knowing that your camera will survive the elements. The second reason quite obviously is the dual 12 megapixel cameras. The iPhone 11 captures stunning 4K resolution videos up to 60 frames per second. The image quality is crisp and the colors produced are vibrant. This makes editing much easier because you don't have to spend too much time color grading the footage. The colors are fantastic straight out of camera. The iPhone also has two optical lenses, one wide angle with an aperture of 1.8 and the ultra wide with an aperture of 2.4. Both lenses produce stunning 4K image. However, when the ambient light is low, the wide angle lens because of its 1.8 aperture retains good amount of detail and sharpness whereas the ultra wide lens tends to soften the image a bit. But 9 times out of 10 the image quality is still good. If you want your ultra wide video to look sharp, you can use the Skybeak Signi Pro 2-in-1 lens which makes your wide angle lens into ultra wide while still retaining detail and sharpness. You can also rig up your iPhone with a lens, a microphone and a capable gimbal like the Weeble S to produce professional looking high quality videos. The shot you're looking at right now where I'm slowly walking towards my ancestral home, this shot was captured with the setup that I just showed you. Also when you pair the iPhone with the Moment camera application, you can create some stunning time lapses. I recommend the Moment app because it allows you to add motion blur to your time lapses within the app itself. And motion blur is what makes your time lapses look smooth. I think I'll have to make a dedicated video for time lapses with the iPhone using the Moment camera application. Reason number 3 is a feature of the iPhone that genuinely shocked me with its performance and that is the optical image stabilization. It blew my mind with how good it works. Handheld video that looks like it has been captured with the help of a gimbal. 90% of all the videos that I've captured with the iPhone till now were all done handheld. Even the videos captured from a moving vehicle don't have any shake in them. Now you might be wondering if the iPhone stabilization is so good, why are manufacturers making smartphone gimbals? You see, when you're capturing videos with your iPhone handheld like this, there are times when your horizon drifts left or right. This happens a lot when you're doing orbit movements where you're trying to keep the subject in the center of the frame. So when you're using a gimbal, the horizon is always level. The gimbal tries to maintain it in this position when you're doing your cinematic movements. The fourth reason why the iPhone 11 is still worth it in 2023 is the battery life. For your day-to-day -day use like browsing the internet, listening to music, watching YouTube videos, browsing through Instagram, WhatsApp chats, for these activities the battery will easily last a full day. But what I like is the standby charge retention. What I mean by that is, suppose you are going to bed at night and your phone's battery is at 55%. When you wake up in the morning, the charge is still at 55% or at best 54%. So the background charge drain is almost negligible. Also the iPhone 11 supports fast charging. For that you'll have to buy this uh, 20 watt charging brick. I think it ships with the 5 watt charger. This 20 watt charger charges the iPhone 11 to 50% in just half an hour. When you're traveling you can carry a fast charging power bank like this 10,000 mAh from the company Urban. This has 18 watt fast charging output by a type C and it charges the iPhone 11 to 40% in just 30 minutes. I bought this a day before we left for the Goa trip and it really came in clutch for the 3 day exploration. The fifth and final reason why the iPhone 11 is still worth it is the stability of the operating system. You know how our Android phones get slower over time, the app starts hanging, crashing, the phone starts restarting and add to that a bucket load of unnecessary bloatware apps that come pre-installed in the phone. Well on the iPhone 11 I didn't find any such issues. All the apps open quick, they work smooth and because of the A13 Bionic chip, the software and the hardware are optimized and fast. So the experience of using the iPhone 11 is fast and smooth. So summarizing my points, yes, the iPhone 11 is still worth it in 2023 
especially the camera is still excellent and because it is a phone you can carry it anywhere i've been stopped from filming with my dslr at several places where everyone else would be capturing photo or video or even doing a whatsapp live call at the same place where i am not allowed to film with my dslr this happened enough times over the years and this along with me losing three of my android phones is what pushed me to buy the iphone i'm glad i did buy it and i'm sure you will be as well now one aspect that i haven't covered so far in the video is photography with the iphone 11 I primarily use iPhone for video purposes, however occasionally when I do use it to capture photos, just like in video, the photos are sharp and colors are vibrant. And because it has optical image stabilization, taking a nighttime photo with a 2 second exposure handheld will still result in a sharp image. If I try to take a 2 second exposure with my DSLR, all I will get is a blur. So that was it for this video, I genuinely hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions regarding the iPhone, the Skyvik lens or the urban power bank, you can ask in the comment section or you could get into touch with me on Instagram at kvargavfilms. I'll also leave links in the description for all the camera gear if you're interested in purchasing. So that's it for this video. Concluding it here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.